Hello, 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 and happy Motivational Monday to my Libras. Yes, Libras. Hopefully you all have, hopefully you had a great weekend, Libras. Listen, Libra, today kicks off Venus and Aries, so a lot of people are feeling quite flirty, so don't be surprised if people are attracted to you and coming on to you more than usual. Um, and also, people are feeling more assertive about asking universe for more money, right? Yes, asking universe for more money, because we are still very much new moon in Taurus, and that's about prosperity, right? And whatever you deem prosperity to be. Sometimes people look at prosperity as health. Some people look at prosperity as wealth or whatever you deem prosperity to be. The first thing up, we have four of swords. Get your rest. That's what new moon energy is all about, getting your rest. Somebody came out of this right here. A lot of crying, a lot of exerting, a lot of energy, emotions, right? And so now it's time to get your rest. Take your power back, Libras. Take your power back. I'm talking to you if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If it's your MC or IC, I'm talking to you as well. And that's for my cross watchers who may be tuning in. Yes. So like I said before, Libras, let's keep it going. Somebody is getting their rest after coming out of, I'm telling you, a lot of you all do not look like what you've been through, but you poured out a lot of emotions. Your ancestor says, that's all right. We got you. So you're feeling very sunny, very happy, very positive. Things are on the upswing for you, Libra. So this is nice. This is really, really nice for you all. So again, somebody got a guardian angel watching over them, keeping them safe and protected. You got a lot of people fighting for you, rooting for you, Libra. So stay focused, right? And so, so a lot of you all are starting to think expansion. We have temperance, which is a, which is attached to Sagittarius. Sagittarius' his ruling planet is um, is Jupiter, and so that's the that's the largest planet. But not only that, it governs expansion. What brings you joy, gratitude, honor, wisdom, tolerance, right? And so again, somebody is feeling quite happy. Somebody went outside. They got rejuvenated after feeling depressed for a little while, like feeling a little down and looking into this black hole, into the abyss. You've replenished your own water. This is how smart and how powerful you all are, Libras, and decided, hey, you know what? I'm not going to give my power away to people who are constantly trying to drag me down into this black hole with them. In other words, I'm getting as far away from low vibration energy as humanly possible. Yeah, a matter of fact, I'm like, beat it, scram, shazam, get out of my way, low vibrating negative energy, and anybody that's attached to that energy. So somebody is feeling quite um, fiery, like I said, you know, focused. So again, putting on a brave face outside is one thing, but somebody is smiling from the inside out, which is what I love, love, love. So yeah, somebody may have spent some time out in the sunlight, removing those stale energies from crying and being frustrated. And it could have even been, this is why I want to make sure that we associate signs with uh, zodiac signs with their ruling planet. Like your ruling planet is Venus and Venus is in Aries today. So again, in Aries is ram, uh, the symbol is a ram. So you're ramming through those obstacles and not sitting stuck in somewhere feeling sad or sorry for yourselves, Libra. You're like, no, let me get up and get, get moving. There's money out there in the universe for me to get, right? You know your value, you know your worth, especially if you watch the number zero video from yesterday, a lot of people are fired up. Yes, a lot of people are fired up because they know their worth. Queen of Pentacles, your heart is in the right place. Somebody may have been trying to come after your money, but your heart is in the right place. Money is still very attracted to you. So, and it's going to continue being very attracted to you. So the expansion, 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 you're out there getting it in the universe. And again, I'm telling you, there are some signs, all their main focus is, is that they want money. They don't care who they destroy in the process of getting your money. That is why I want you all to really listen to other videos. So you're not judging the you're not judging people who happen to be born on a certain day you're look you're do, taking it on a case by case basis right which i don't think i have to tell you guys too much because again you all are the scales of justice you sit right there between you know you sit right there between um the other zodiac signs right so this is your own discovery this is where you're like i'm taking this on a case-by-case -case basis i'm weighing everything and i'm making a determination based on the the person's choice you know the people in my life i'm I, even though i have a big heart i'm weighing it 
uh, it's on a case by case basis, right? So yeah, so that's that was a lesson that you had to learn because before you were sabotaging yourself. See how this person is turned or where they have on blindfolds. They don't even know where the water is. They don't even know how to replenish their own emotions. This is self-sabotage. How are you sitting on a beach and you don't know where the water is? Water represents your emotions, your intimacy, your creativity, right? Somebody all was dried up, right? Yeah, that's self-sabotage. Just like this person right here. Back is faced back is face facing the water back is facing the water who goes to a beach to not look at the water or who not to take a you know and you know, put their foot in the water you could have just gone straight to a park or you could have stayed in the house <laughs> but you're outside absorbing all those elements because you're you're replenishing those emotions your creativity your intimacy you're replenishing those things so you want to take the blindfolds off because that's self-sabotage and you don't want to let people who you know is intentionally trying to drag you down into this black hole. They don't have the power. You do. You have the power. I see you taking your power back, Libras, because you know your self-worth. You're not playing around, right? You're not playing around with people. So, yeah, somebody's feeling victorious, very happy, very free, telling all negative energy to scram, skedaddle <laughs> get away from me negative energy yes the end of a tough cycle approaches yeah because okay we have capricorn right here capricorn is a earth sign and what is the earth dirt you have buried the situation for good and you are moving on that's why you feel so happy and free it's under your feet now the devil energy is under your feet it is under your feet so kudos to you, Libra. That negative energy is under your feet along with the person it came in, that, that vehicle, that body. It came in. It's under your feet. It's behind you, right? So go replenish your water. My brain is an engine of evolution. That's right. Very smart you are, Libras. Your brain is fluid and flexible, able to create new connections through very old age. Yes. We don't want to toss out any any money hungry signs, but I could name them right off. But I don't want to plant the seed in your mind to get you thinking, okay, I can't trust this sign. They're all about money. Because there's advantages to that too, because they also know how to get money. But if you're dealing with the person who is a gold digger instead of a G O A L digger, there's a big difference. A person who is a G O L D digger is a person who doesn't care who they hurt to get to the money right versus a person who's a gold digger yeah they will align themselves with you and say hey how let's get together and we can you know you're ambitious libra i'm ambitious and you know maybe we can do a collaboration one day together let's get the contract you know the contractual paperwork together and all of those things but no somebody was dealing with a gold digger and they are having a tower moment nothing is working in their favor everything is falling apart it's going down you know it's going down the tower you know it's just but also you're having a tower moment because you're also understanding all those that good energy you've been putting out into the universe is coming back good energy to you. So you have nothing to worry about. You're divinely protected. So you had to learn the difference between a gold digger and a gold digger. And so now you know the difference. So you're not associating the sign with a person. You're associating signs with their ruling planet. Okay. Okay. This somebody chose to come up against you because this is what they were looking for. They were looking for money and they didn't get it. That is what I have for you, Libras. Continue having a fantastic day. But I know you will because that's the intention you set. Bye.